Hey, what's up guys? Grown the Hobby coming back to you guys with a brand new hockey break. Uh, hockey break slash recap slash uh, reveal of some recent card pickups here for you. So hopefully it'll be a pretty cool video. It should be fairly short. But uh, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you guys, you see that little speck right there? It's not a bug or anything, I promise. You might notice this in a couple of the videos around the time of the premiere of this video. I dropped my phone, so I have a crack in the actual lens. I have a new phone coming, but uh, there might be a few videos that you have that speck. Um, so, yeah, just bear in mind that's what that is. Anyway, we're going to do equivocally two boxes of 21-22 uh, SP game use. We're going to break one here. I'm going to recap a box real quick because you guys like to know what I'm breaking off camera. I don't like to make just the recap videos unless I'm breaking something now. So uh, we'll get into that in a minute. Let's show you guys some recent card pickups I got between uh, both my LCS as well as eBay. Uh, I'm going to kind of fly through these. I think I have like eight cards. They're pretty cool. I think. Uh, first off, we start with the Tops. This is not the OPG, but a Tops Mario Lemieux rookie card. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. I got it for a pretty decent value. And if you guys see stickers on here, I'm not worried about taking them off. I did not pay the values that are on these cards. Um, I can tell you that right now. But uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. We got a little bit of a stain right there at the top and stuff. So I got a pretty good deal on this. Still going to probably get it graded and stuff and uh, see where we come out on that one. This is one I've been eyeing up for a while. Uh, out of five on this one, this is from 2019. Yeah, 2019 uh, National Treasures. Terry Bradshaw from my hometown Steelers right there. Piece of uh, game-worn jersey patch right there. Pretty cool stuff. Again, it's out of five. I thought that was pretty cool. Can't go wrong with that. I've had this card already um, in a lower grade. I mean, granted, it's not great, but I think this will grade a little bit better than my other one because my other one was really rough. But a 62 mantle, uh, all-star card right there, so 62 mantle. Again, pay no attention to these price tags and stuff. I did not pay these prices, uh, especially the next one here, but this is a really cool one. How about a 57 Hank Aaron in pretty doggone good condition for the most part, and that little bit of white is not on the card itself. That's the case. Um, so, yeah, 57 Hank Aaron in very good condition. I'm going to be sending that one off to get graded. I'll let you guys know how we do on that, but a uh, pretty cool card there for sure. A couple of graded cards, slab cards. I like slabs, especially the uh, Nike Swish. I love those. So from 2020 Immaculate Collection, a Deontay Johnson uh, Immaculate Insignias. PSA 8, I know it's not the highest of grade, but uh, I don't really care because it's all about that cool Nike Swish right there. So we got that out of 5. You guys can check that out there. This is always pretty cool. A Roethlisberger rookie, I had to grab it. I've been eyeing this up for a while at the, uh, the uh, LCS. So from 2004 Fleer Showcase, Ben Roethlisberger, Sweet Sigs. Silver uh, parallel out of 270, and you guys can see that right there, out of 270 on the back. Uh, but nice little on-card autograph rookie auto there, and it is graded, obviously. Not the highest, but uh, still, I don't care. It's a 7 on that, so that was pretty cool. Last graded card here, SGC this time, 1958 tops, Roberto Clemente. It's an SGC 3. I thought it was a pretty decent example of a 3. I like that card. I like the SGC slabs. Um, and honestly, I got a really good deal on this card, so I couldn't pass it up. Last but not least, from eBay right here, got the authenticity guarantee. A lot of you guys are going to be like, what the heck would you even want that for? Well, there's a little bit of a story to this one. I'll fly through it as best I can, but uh, show you guys the card here first. Pull it out of the holder here. And from 2015 National Treasures, Christian Walker, rookie patch auto, one of one. That is right. So it's an on-card Autograph Christian Walker. You guys can see the one on one designation right there. The rookie logo, obviously, and then the logo, man, more or less, because the Adidas logo right there. Um, yeah, right there from 2015 National Treasures. Now, the reason I got this, I mean, he's a very decent ball player. I mean, is he an absolute all star, you know, crushing it perennially or anything like that? Uh, no, probably not going to be a Hall of Famer, but uh, definitely a decent player. And the reason I got this, it's actually for my son. So, my son. First ball game we went to here a couple of years ago, first Pirates game, they were playing the Diamondbacks, and uh, Christian Walker, incredibly humble guy. He's actually from the area. I didn't even know that at the time. Uh, so he's not all that far from where he was born and raised from where we live here. Uh, came right over, and he just started talking to me and my son. Great guy. I had obviously never met him before. We're wearing Pirates you know, gear and stuff like that, but he was super cool. Came over, talked to us, posed for a couple of pictures with my son, Gave my son an autographed baseball. My son cherishes that to this day. He keeps it on display in his room. And uh, what I'm going to do is actually kind of get that picture um, of the two of them developed, maybe on like a canvas print or something like that, make a little stand, put that canvas here, 
put the card on display, get a little baseball card or baseball holder in the middle, put that baseball that's signed by Christian Walker on display. Uh, I thought it'd be a pretty cool little piece there for my son. So yeah, that's what that's about guys. Now let's get into today's break and recap here. So again, we're doing 2122 SP uh, game used. I'm going to show you guys first and foremost what I got in the other box. Um, it was an okay box, not terrible. I've definitely seen worse. I've seen better, but uh, yeah, let's get right to it. It's only six cards, I believe. And uh, we start with a Joey Keen, authentic rookie. It's one of those, I think, retro because it has the rounded corners and stuff like that. Out of $9.99. Then we got a Taylor Radish, uh, authentic rookies red out of $205. A Dylan Cousins auto. It's a sticker auto, granted, but uh, Dylan Cousins, not his rookie. Uh, a year rem removed from that, but uh, still, it's a Dylan Cousins autograph. I'll take it. Blue auto, pretty cool. Not numbered. This was a nice rookie. I think I already actually pulled one of these in the other box. Uh, this is not numbered as well. It's a red rookie jersey, Trevor Zegers, so one of the top rookies. Then we've got a Josh Morrissey banner year uh, with a jersey at the top and banner at the bottom. That's from the Western Conference, I think, playoffs or whatever. If you guys want to pause and read about it right there, you can. And then the last up, we got a Tower Toffoli banner year there. I've got quite a few of these. They're very common this year. But, I mean, it's, it's kind of cool, I guess. You know, it was used in the... Stanley Cup playoffs and stuff like that. So, yeah, let's get into this. I'm hoping for a net cord, although, to be honest, the box doesn't feel that heavy. Um, you can get these, you know, draft day marks cards that I have in the background there as well. Um, what else? What else have I pulled out of here? You can get the puck, like the, uh, oh, the outdoor game pucks and stuff like that. I did get one of those this year. But, honestly, I think I've opened, like, 15 of these boxes, which is way too many, probably about 14 too many, to be honest. But... It was at my LCS. I do like the product. I'm not paying the sticker price that you see on the box. So I love my hockey. You guys know this. So I thought I would pick up maybe another box or two of these. It's only six cards. Like I said in here, it does not feel ultra thick or anything like that. So I don't think we have any like net cord, um, game pucks, anything like that. I don't even think we have a draft day marks because it doesn't feel very thick. And those are a little thicker. You guys can look right there from the side. Nothing ultra thick. Just kind of regular card stock for this product. So... Yeah, I'm not going to get anything crazy, but we could get a crazy autograph. That would be nice. I'd love to get a big-time autograph. Uh, there are some pretty big players on the checklist that you can get, but it's a very wide checklist, too, so you can get a lot of crap. Uh, I've actually pulled this card already, so another throwback rookie here. Authentic rookie Wade Allison out of $9.99. And oh, we got something going on here. Authentic rookies. I feel like it's autographed or something. Something's up with this one. Let's take a look right here, though. Maureen Cider. Uh, there we go. Out of $9.99 on that one. And unfortunately, I thought that was going to be a bigger, well, bigger rookie as far as like lower numbering and stuff. But it's Marie Cider. I'll take that all day long. Um, not too bad. Our autograph is going to be in the next spot. Is it a, oh, it's an Authentic Legends? Hey, I'll take that. How about that? Cam Neely. All right, not bad at all. Cam Neely, it's a sticker I know. But heck, Cam Neely, you don't see Cam Neely autos popping up every day. Very nice. So Authentic Legends, Autos Blue, Cam Neely. That's not going to be numbered or anything. Funky looking color behind here. I guess it's going to be this way. It's going to be some type of jersey. I can tell we got a purity card, by the way, in the back, which is what that Caprizov is right there. I can tell from the die cut feel I'm feeling here in the back. Uh, the, hey, Sergey Zuboff. I think that's the second one of these I've gotten as well. Former Penguin right there. Uh, that's what I best remember him from, Sergey Zuboff. Hall of Fame Legends sweaters, not numbered. Turn around for our final relic, and we'll check out the purity. We got a Dawson Mercer red rookie jersey. Not too bad. And then we'll get with a purity Ryan O'Reilly, non-numbered on that one, but uh, still pretty cool looking die cut. So, honestly, not a bad little box. I mean, definitely the two best cards, in my opinion. That uh, Cam Neely is very awesome, and the uh, Maurice Sider out of 999 is, is also pretty darn cool. So, there you go, guys. Down and dirty, that is two boxes including a recap of 2122 SP game used. Please do me a favor, like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys, as always, in the description below. You can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Other than that, have a great day, a great night, wherever you all are at, and we will see you next time.